Hello, my name is Leonard Rich. I'm a horror sci-fi writer. I have many books under my name. You can check the links below to check out my books. I want to ask this question. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in spirits? Do you believe a world beyond our own? All I can tell you is I do believe in ghosts and I do believe in such things that we cannot explain. For instance, I can tell you two experiences I had when ghosts come to visit you at night. It's an odd feeling, a strange feeling, but yet a curious feeling. This is why people go into haunted places in search of proof that they are such thing as ghosts, that they are demons who walk among us, or creatures of the night that we never even dreamed exist. But who knows what's hidden behind the shadows, what's hidden in the corners of our walls within our own mind. For me, ghosts exist because of two things. Long ago, my grandpa passed away. He wore this certain cologne. Only this cologne. To, it was a smell that, let me just say this. He was the only one that wore it. And no one else in the family had this cologne. When he passed away, I felt his presence in my bedroom. I was turned away, of course, sleeping. And his presence woke me up. And I smelt that cologne. And how did I know it was him? I don't know. That's one of the mysteries you can't explain because I felt it was him. Like if you was in his presence or around his company or the intuition that you feel when you know somebody. That I knew it was him and I knew he was there to say goodbye. So I said goodbye and I love you grandpa. And then the feeling went away. The spirit left. It's also another time when a full blown spirit appeared before me. My wife, who passed away with lung cancer, God rest her soul. I was actually in the shower, believe it or not. And then all of a sudden I felt a strong feeling, a strong emotion that someone was just outside of the shower curtain. Of course, I turned the water off and opened the curtain. I didn't see nothing. I could not see nothing, but yet I could feel her there. She was there to say goodbye to me and my son and move on who knows where. Some say to heaven, some say to hell, or to oblivion. Who knows? But I do know. I feel that there is a spirit world out there, a crossover in time and space. These two um, encounters, they open my eyes to a whole new world. Of horror and science fiction. The horror, well, it was scary for me. Not with my grandpa, maybe because I was laying in bed, had my head turned away, didn't see nothing. Didn't want to go look either. I stayed there until he was gone. But when my wife appeared to me, I didn't see her. I could only feel her, and it was a very, very strong presence. She was fully there. It took her days to reach back home. I don't know if the ghost has to journey back or they can appear any time. These are the mysteries that plague our minds that how do they get around? Do they really travel like their own foot? Do they fly? What do they do? Because there were many times after she, she passed away within those few months that I seen things. I seen orbs. Uh, something like a snake-like spirit going up the steps like it was walking up the steps but it saw me looked up and quickly went back down and I felt a strong urge don't come down here you will be afraid I'll tell you what those emotions that I felt oh my heart it bleeded I loved her very much and I knew her kind heart but they are darker ghosts out there they are darker energies that will come and give you nightmares that will bring horror to your life who knows even destroy your life keep you from being get sleep getting rest they will haunt you they will scare you they will push you away 
or such malinfinite evil creatures just want to drive you mad. These are the mysteries that we must explore. So I ask you again, do you believe in ghosts?